Hello Codebase family, in this video we will take a look at the Qt menu bar and we will use the app we created in the previous tutorial with uh, the Qt toolbar tutorial and that is what we will build upon so if you did not watch that video or you haven't watched it I recommend that you watch it the link to the full playlist in the, is in the description and this code here which is the starter code that we just took from previous tutorials and added a toolbar and then the toolbar actions as well as the the editor so if you don't understand any of this code i recommend that you take a look at the playlist the link is in the description in the previous tutorial this is what we did we created a toolbar set the movable to false of course you can leave, leave it to true if you like moving the toolbar around and then some toolbar actions for new open and save we added the actions also to the toolbar and then we created a test edit added it also to the main layout and this was the application just this one with a test uh, box that we can type in what we want to do is to add menu bar, uh, uh, the menu bar to the application and it's quite simple that one also we do it to the kill actions so what we can add to the menu bars are actions quickly we will create the menu bar at the top here just above the toolbar so this place will be our toolbar but just above the toolbar we will create the menu bar and that is also very easy to do all that you have to do is you can call it anything but i'll call it menu bar equal to self dot menu then menu bar when we do this we have created a menu bar for the application it's actually in the camps default to the application but this is how we access it to add actions to it just like the toolbar, we add what we call actions to the menu bar. So let us come to the place where we added the actions to the toolbar and then create our sub menus or menu items. Here, let us start with the file menu. The file menu, which you can also call it anything will be equal to we want to create a, a menu and add it to the menu bar so that will be menu bar which will just refer to the menu bar variable we created there to access the menu bar dot add menu we want to add menu to the menu bar and in here we add the menu we want to in our case file when we do this we can run application and see so that we have a file menu here of course when we click it nothing happens because we have not added any actions to that menu but that will give us the menu bar let us now come back and then add actions to it so under the file menu itself we want to have some actions like open or the new open save that we created up here so let us add those actions to the file menu that will be file menu dot add action. We want to add an action, and what action do we want to add? We want to add a new action, and then we we'll repeat or uh, it for the other two menu items: the open and then the save. So now when we run the application, you should see all three added to the file menu. Here, they are all added nicely with their icons attached. And if we want to add the shortcuts also to it, like we see in most applications, we can do that by adding the shortcut to the action. So in this place, you can see new action dot add shortcut.
and then inside here we pass the shortcut we want so control c When we now run our application, we should see the we have an error. This Q action has no attribute shortcuts. Okay. It is not add shortcut, it's set shortcut rather, sorry. We want to set shortcut rather. And in there is control plus C. So when we now click here. Oh, where is the shortcut? It should appear beside the test. Why is it not appearing? This thing should appear. I don't know why it is not showing. Let me add it to the open also and see. Open action dot set shortcut in here let me add the control plus s and run it and see it is also not showing Okay. I think I found the error. This one, well, the species between the test, like the control and the plus and the C, should be what is causing the problem that we are facing. Okay, so when I remove the space, you see that it's actually showing. Open, new it shouldn't be control plus C, control plus N. In this place I should also make it control plus O but not with uh, without the spaces and that will show so let me quickly add one to the save save action dot set shortcut I want to set it to control plus S when I run this now you will see that they all have their shortcuts attached here so let us create another menu for the file where we have the cut copy paste and all i will um, come to where we created our menu bar and first we have to create actions for the other menu also we can just duplicate these ones And then this one will be copy. Be sure to change the next one also. This one will be copy. I have a file there, the file there called copy.png, and this one will be control plus C. The next one will be cut. Which will be control plus X. The next one will be paste. Which should be control plus V. If you're on a Mac, I think it should be CMD, the CMD plus CCMD plus. What we have to do now is to create the new file, uh, the new menu. And then add the actions. So this one was the file menu. This one will be the edit menu. The link to this file and the icons I use will all be in the description so you can download it and then use it. Let me say this is the edit menu. And so everything here that says file. The edit now, and then we have to change this one also to edit. But for this one, we are not adding the new action, we are adding the copy 
cards and paste. I know we've done a lot, we've done a lot. All the all that we did new was to create new actions here. I think I have to change the shortcuts to copy, test to copy, cut, and paste. It is all that we did was to create new actions here. This ones we are not adding to the toolbar, so the toolbar actions will remain the same. And then we created a new menu here called the edit menu, added it to our menu bar, and added those actions that we created to the edit menu. Let us run our application and see. Now we have another menu apart from the file menu, which is the edit menu, which has cut, uh, copy, cut, and paste options. So how do we add an action to any uh, a how do we add a connection or a signal and a slot as we saw in the signal and slot video to these actions so that they perform something? Well, I will create a new action and add it to the file menu, which is the quit action. So if I duplicate this line, okay, if I duplicate the save action, And then call this one quit. I don't have any icon in there for quit, so I'll delete that part. Just put the test there. That will say quit. And I don't think, okay, the shortcut should be control and then Q. So if I want to, now if I run it, you see that the Quit option is also added to the menu bar. Uh, oh, it should be added. I didn't add it, sorry. I have to add it first before it shows. Bar menu dot add action. And I want to add a quit action. Not this one. Now it shows here. Control plus Q1. And when I click on it, nothing happens. And I, when I press Control and Q2, nothing happens. But we can add a connection to it like we always do down here in our file. How we add it is self. Did we create them as class? No, no, we didn't create them with respect to the class. And if you want to access it with respect to the window, it should be self dots. So for that quit alone, let's make it that way. If you want to connect all other actions or methods to all the other ones, make sure you make them self dot self dot self dot. So that we can access it here like self dot quit action dot triggered dot connect when somebody triggers the action when you trigger the action what should happen we can just pass in self dot close this close we don't have to create it make sure that it doesn't have the open and close parenthesis it comes with the qt itself it's inbuilt we don't have to create it to so just close the application for us when we It is saying quit action is not defined. But that is not how we named it. All this part is not even necessary. Let me just see. That part, I think I don't think that part was necessary because we still said we are adding it to self. Yes, it's still it's still being added, so that part is not even necessary. I apologize for that oversight. 
Now when we run it, that one also has it says no attributes. But why then did it show that error? Okay. Since you say my app has no attribute queue action, let us not call it on the app at all. Let's just say queue action dot triggered dot connect self dot close. Okay, and then let's try this time around and see. Okay, our application closes. So this is how to add an action at the uh, um, uh, a function or whatever you want. So we want the action to do something when it is clicked. This is how to do it. So we call the action and then dot trigger dot connect. This self dot close. I said it comes with PyQt itself. We don't have to write any code for that. And then when I press the shortcut to it should work. I just press the keyboard shortcut. You saw that I didn't go up there to manually click this one and then choose quit, which will also work by the way. Now I'm pressing keeping my cursor in the middle and then I'll Hit Control and Q, which should close my application for me. So just that, you just type the shortcut in, and then PyQt knows what to do with it. So that will be all for this video. As I said earlier, the link to the file and all the icons I used will be in the description. You can download it and then check it out. Thank you for your time. I'll see you another time with another video.